Alright you guys, welcome back. How's it going? Um, yeah, this is another video for once. I barely ever upload, but um, <coughs> I decided to upload. So yeah, <coughs> so uh, today's video, as you probably see by the title and the thumbnail, I am doing a Bed Wars item tier list. Um, so yeah, uh, I had this idea a while back, but then I didn't really want to do it. Um, but now um, th this might actually get more than two views. I decided I'd do it. So yeah, um, this isn't my. I didn't get all these items and stuff. I found this on TierMaker.com. Um, so yeah, thanks to whoever made that. A big props to them. All right. So the first item. Oh yeah, just to clarify, this is the normal bow. This is the power bow, and this is the punch bow. Yeah. So I'm just saying, I'm I'm d I'm gonna do all the bows at the end. So if I move them down to there. Alright, so um and this is the Nether Games uh tier list. Um if this was this is like Nether Games, but I'll talk about it on Hypixel and Hyperlands. But yeah, okay, so the first one is the bed bug. Hyperlands are kinda of funny because they do I kinda a lot of knockback. Um but on Nether Games I don't really buy them. But they're funny to draw, so I guess I'll put them there. Um, bridge eggs. I don't know. If it was high pixel, I'd definitely put them like C or D, but I'm gonna probably put them in E because you like it's kind of you can just like uh you can just sprint and bridge at the same time, so that's as fast as using a bridge egg on high pixel. So I, I guess I'll just put this in here because it is two emeralds and chain armor can go there you can just buy a fireball which is way better or you can just buy iron armor i don't think you ever need to buy chain armor if someone has an excuse to buy chain armor then let me know down in the comments below but i barely ever buy ch i've never bought chain i never buy chain ar chain armor that's what i'm trying to say i can't talk today um clay clay is probably a c tier it's quite good for a bed defense, it's kind of cheap. It's cheaper than endstone, um, and it's quite good if you do like the the defense, which is centered around one block, and they never know where your bed is. So yeah, um, pop up tower can go. Th I think pop up tower is going to C tier because they're kind of funny to troll with. Um, I think I'll put diamond armor. Well, it depends. If you're against a hacker, I'd put it, yeah, like top of your priorities. But like, just normally, unless there's like really annoying team and you're playing duos and they both have like diamond armor, I'm gonna put it in D tier. And same with the diamond sword. Um, I don't really know. Or I don't think you'd ever really need a diamond axe. Um, because you can just buy an iron one. So, iron, uh, diamond pickaxe though, I, I'm probably going to put that in, s I don't know, I might put that in E tier, along with obsidian, because they're kind of the same. Because you need the diamond to, p well, you, you should probably buy one. If they have obsidian, then yes, but if they don't have obsidian, then that's just a waste of like, 20... Iron and s nine gold is it? I think yeah, from nothing. <coughs> so this uh, iron golem, yeah. Um, I'll put that. I would put that in C tier, but the thing is, they're not very. They're so expensive, and they can just be one tapped off. But then they can see you while you're in vis, so I guess I'll put that there. <coughs> Ender pearl can go S tier. Because it's basically like an extra life if it doesn't lag. But nine times out of ten, it. Sorry, I'll rephrase that. Seven times out of ten, it usually doesn't lag. So you have a 70% chance of not dying. So I, I will take that chance. I'd rather have a 70% chance of not dying than on a 100% chance of dying. I don't know. 30% chance of dying, 100% chance of not dying. Um, endstone. Well, I think I'll put this. It's it's better than clay, so I'll put it B tier. Um, cause endstone's quite good. 
um, if you like just buy 12 of it and then put it over your bed but if you just keep like buying it and buying it and buying it this is not really got the same effect fireballs um, I, I want to put it in S tier, but sometimes they glitch and you click once and two of them go, but then so do the ender pearls. So I guess I'll put, they're really laggy, so I'm more tempted to like not buy them, but when they don't lag, they're definitely, definitely a solid S tier. Glass, I'll put that with, cl hmm. depends if you're playing ranked. If you're playing ranked, definitely B tier, because it means if they drop TNT in your bed, but then just in normal games. No, I'll put it there. It's quite a good bed defense. Uh, Gapples, I have n barely ever go a game without buying an app. Gapple, so it's obviously S tier. Um, golden Pickaxe, it's sort of an F and a half. Because if they're being really annoying. Yeah, I'd put it there. If they have like lots of um, endstone. Hmm. Actually, I might put it D tier. Yeah, i put it D tier. Because they ha if they have lots of endstone, it's quite a solid belly. Uh, I'll buy, I'd usually buy an iron pickaxe though, so I'll put that up there. This, uh, definitely S tier. This is diamond, this is like the best armor. Um, it's not as good as diamond armor, but it's like half the price, I don't know. Um, it's really cheap. Um, oops, I just scrolled up, I don't know. Um, uh, this, hmm, you could just buy a stone axe. And it would be quicker, but then if you need, then again, I'll put that there, and I'll put that there, because I usually buy. If I was gonna, I wouldn't buy a diamond pickaxe and just have a stone axe. I'd buy a gold pickaxe and an iron axe, and then if they had wood, if they don't have wood, I don't know. Uh, iron pickaxe really great for duos, really really good for doubles. Uh, it. <clears throat> Although I usually buy iron armor first if I had enough, but if I didn't have enough, I'd probably just buy a sword. Uh, ladders. Um, I I I'm gonna put them there. I can't really ladder clutch, but if I could ladder clutch, they'd definitely be up there. So I'll put them up there. Milk is so underrated. I I don't care if I get hit for this. This is actually so underrated. I'm gonna put this in an A tier, cause it. It, if you're invis, there's basically absolutely no way they're gonna see you. Um, and moving on to invis, um, jump. I want to put it S tier, but like it's not necessary. I don't know. It's not as good as all these. Actually, you know what it is. You know what? I'm not sure. Um, it's n I don't buy as much as all these items, so I might just put it in A tier. And then I'll put invis in A tier. Although speed, I barely ever buy speed. I'd rather buy two jump and an invis rather than all four. So I'll put speed in B tier. It's still quite a good potion though if you need to like run away or something. I'm just going to leave the bows for later. Um, <coughs> shears. Shears are pretty good. I'll put them in a B tier. Um, if they have like lots of will. I'll, I'll usually buy these like every single game basically. Um... Yeah, I might put them. Yeah, I'll put them A tier. Same with tools. I'll put them A tier. I kind of want to put them S tier, but like, I do prefer like TNT and stuff. All right, sponge. Okay, this is this is a fun one. Sponge used to be so overpowered; it would literally crash anyone's game. But if you placed it down, it would literally crash everyone's game. There's a short, I'll uh, leave it up in the top corner. Uh, there's a short of me where I bridged and then <coughs> I was bridging and the it the just was so good. Um, so if this was like a year ago, this would definitely be going straight to like two tiers above S. Like it would be off the charts. But now it's not that great. I have to put it, I don't want to put it in F tier, but then again, like, you never ever buy it. I want to put it in E tier because it was good. Yeah, it was good. So I have to, I have to honour the sponge. Um, <coughs> knockback stick. See, this is, I didn't mean to put that there. This is an, uh, this is a dif difficult one. 
It's mm, it's quite expensive. It's not expensive. It's quite expensive on Hyperlands. Is what I was trying to say. It's quite expensive on Hyperlands, but on Nether games, it's quite good. Um, I'll put it here. I'll put it in A tier because um, sometimes ne um, if you're all E people in the chat will know what I mean. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of iffy knockback sometimes on other games so that's why I think if the other games had good knockback then I'd definitely put it as tier but I barely ever buy it because um, I don't have good ping but and if it doesn't it's really inconsistent knockback but I know some people really like it so I'll put it A tier stone sword um, I'd say iron sword's better than a stone sword so I'll put it stone sword I'll put stone sword A tier TNT is really good sometimes when it works. Uh, I'll put water bucket. Um, I I don't know if I put it on B tier because it's really good. Like if you're playing ranked and they don't and they don't allow ladders for whatever reason, you could just use a water bucket. But if it's just a normal game, I barely ever buy it, and it's really annoying if you spam it all over your bed. So I'll put it there. Wood is a solid, solid bed defence, and wool, well, this is a necessity, you need it to bridge, so it's going straight in S tier. Um, now, this is the b difficult one, bows. I think I'll put the normal bow. Hmm. See, the only time I really buy bows if the other team is being really annoying, and they also have a bow, I put, I'll and I, if it's really end game, I'll probably have enough for this bow, so I'll put this in a C tier because it does a decent amount of damage. And then I'll put that in D tier because I don't usually, I, I usually ha whenever I buy a bow, I usually have enough for this bow. But if I don't, I'll resort to this one. Uh, punch bow is really annoying, but it's kind of good. But then I don't, yeah. I'd probably buy a pearl and like a jump or something rather than this so um it's better than this bow though so I'll put it B tier. Arrows I don't know where this will go I sort of like all of them um I kind of have to put arrows here because like I don't know I don't know where I put arrows uh they're kind of it's kind of in all of these because you sort of need them to shoot a bow um I'll put um arrows just like C tier. But uh yeah. So I'll just I'm gonna look over this and see if there's anything that I want to change. I don't think so. I mean all these tools are good. Uh yeah, this sword's good I guess. Yeah, I think that's everything. Mm, yeah. I think that's about ever just about everything. No, I'm gonna move that down. Yeah, because iron golems, uh, they can see people when they're invis, but then they can get like, if sometimes they if they rush someone, I don't know why I'm saying I, I don't think rush is the right word. If they run towards someone, and try hit them off, someone can just do a 180 and one tap them off. So you know, uh, yeah, I think that's about it for this video uh thank you guys a lot for watching if you made it to the end uh and you're not subscribed then maybe consider hitting the subscribe button like and all that uh yeah i need to be a pexy to 100 subs so you know tell all your friends about my amazing tier list video okay uh yeah i'll catch you guys next time peace